Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to go through and demonstrate the zoom function in iOS 8. Now in previous videos I've looked at all of the different features in iOS 8 that relate to vision and modifying how the screen looks if you have a visual impairment and I've also created another video where I specifically go or I specifically demonstrate voiceover which is the screen reader in iOS 8. Now I'm going to use this and do this on my iPad but of course if you've got an iPhone very similar features will be available for that as well. Okay so to get access to Zoom I'm going to go into settings I'm going to go into general accessibility and then right at the top we've got Zoom. So the green button at the top tells me that the zoom is on so make sure that you're that you've actually put zoom on and then we've got a brief um, overview of the most important commands and instructions for the zoom function if we double tap with three fingers we zoom if we drag three fingers we move around the screen during zoom and if we double tap with three fingers and then drag we change the level of the zoom. So let's have a look at this shall we? So there we go. I have double tapped with three fingers and I've got a window that clearly shows the zoom going in. Okay now if I wanted to change how much I was zooming in on the magnification then it's telling me to double tap and then I drag it left after double tapping it with my three fingers and if I drag it left the zoom gets smaller or the magnification gets smaller and if I drag it right the zoom and the magnification get bigger and bigger and then if I double tap with my three, th three fingers on this zoomed window hopefully it disappears like that. Okay so let's have a look at some other functions of, of the zoom menu. If we look at the bottom we've got a maximum zoom, zoom level. Now the maximum zoom level you are just setting an upper limit of how much you ever want the iPad to zoom in and I've got mine at 7.5 you can see here but you can go all the way up to 15 times and you can go to down to just over one time um, a magnification of just over one now as I've just demonstrated you can actually still adjust the zoom the specific zoom level that you want within when you're using the iPad but this function here, as it clearly says, just sets a maximum level. It's just so it doesn't get too carried away. Okay. Now we've also got something just above that called the zoom region. So let's go into that. And zoom region, it's got lens mode. When I've demonstrated it a couple of minutes ago, a window appeared on my screen. So if we go back out, let's go into Safari. Okay, so I'm going to go on the BBC web page. And then I'm going to double tap. And the window reappears. So that's, I've got a zoomed window on my screen and everything else on my screen remains as normal at 100%. Now if we go back into settings and back into zoom, and I actually select the full screen mode. Let's go back to let's go back to the BBC here. So here we go. Now what this is doing, because I've selected full screen, every part of the screen is being magnified. It's not just a window. And again I can change the zoom level as I explained earlier by double tapping twice with my three fingers and then dragging left for the magnification to decrease and dragging right for it to increase. Okay. 
Right, let's have a look at some other. And then I've just double tapped it. Again, my three fingers double tapped twice and the zoom has momentarily stopped. So let's go back to our window zoom and go back to the zoom menu itself. Now the next thing I want to show you is the show controller. Now, the show controller adds a button or a joystick onto the screen and let me just show you this and you can see it there it's a black circle up arrow down arrow left arrow right arrow with a dot in the middle it's almost like an on-screen mouse really and what that does is that that joystick gives us quick access to some of the most important features of the zoom control so you can see I've just touched it once and then I've I've got access to some of those features to zoom in full screen zoom to resize the lens to choose a filter or to hide the controller so that's another video that I've shot was of something called the braille rotor which is a similar on-screen function or button that enables you to get quick access to the main the most important features of the menu now because we've got show controller on and you can see that because of the green I've got another menu option below it which is idle visibility now you can see that I've got idle visibility at a hundred percent now what that means is a hundred percent means that that black circle is as black and as dark as it can go if we want it to become more um, opaque or transparent then we just go into this menu move the slider down and you can see that the the color changes as, as we change it so it depends how visible you want it or how intrusive you want it how easy it is to see for you okay so let's go back to the zoom menu there we are now another thing I'm going to show you is the follow focus option now this confused me quite a bit but the follow focus option is for when you are writing text on your iPad or your phone so for instance if we go to back to Safari so let's try and get the thing back okay and the follow focus what it does is as soon as I um, command the iPad or instruct the phone to um, that I'm going to start writing text it goes into the area where you're going to start writing text okay so there we go you can see that it's got its focused I'm on the web browser in Safari and so it's gone immediately to the address bar where I'm typing so that's a really useful feature if you are for when you're typing and you want the zoom function on. Okay, so let's go back there. Now, another thing that pops up if you kind of turn on the follow focus function, then the zoom keyboard appears. And this, I believe, means that... Oh, let me choose the right option this means that it will also zoom on the keyboard as I'm typing so as well as let's go into the into the address bar okay so the focus is on the address bar and what should be happening as well is that the keyboard itself it should be zooming to the area that I'm touching it and it's not and I don't quite understand that but if any of you do then please let me know in the comments what I'm doing wrong okay let me take us back to the zoom and remember that double tap with the three fingers turns the zoom function on and off and 
just looking at that menu, I think I've covered everything I wanted to. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. It is about 10 minutes. It is obviously quite complicated in parts, but the zoom function is a very, very handy function that I wanted to give a detailed overview of. So please let me know your thoughts about it in the comments and I will get back to you. Thank you for watching.